Hello, I'm Mira Sorvino. Thank you for the opportunity to talk to you directly. The airlines that you lead connect the world, linking business to markets, reuniting friends and family, and facilitating voyages of discovery. In 2018, 4.3 billion travelers are expected to board planes on over 20,000 city pairs. Those same planes will carry about a third of the value of goods traded internationally. The livelihoods of some 60 million people are directly linked to aviation and aviation-related tourism. It is not surprising, therefore, that aviation is referred to as the business of freedom. But, sadly, the freedom of air travel is being misused by people who profit from denying freedom to others. According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, or UNODC, women and girls make up more than 70 percent of human trafficking victims condemned to a life of exploitation and suffering. And because it's a transnational crime, we know that many victims of trafficking pass through airports and onto international flights. Unlike other illegal smuggling activities that rely on cargo, which can be searched or scanned, human trafficking is hidden in plain sight. But there are some telltale signs which people can be trained to look for. That is why governments and law enforcement agencies around the world desperately need and are asking for your support. They are looking for airport, airline, and customer-facing staff in the wider aviation industry to be trained in basic human trafficking awareness and reporting, to act as an additional set of eyes and ears to help them prevent this crime. And we know these types of initiatives work. Very few successes are reported in the media, but every now and then the vigilance of airline staff in preventing human trafficking does make the headlines, such as the case of an airline employee in Sacramento, California in August last year who saved two young girls aged 15 and 17 from being trafficked. In my work over the past nine years as UNODC Goodwill Ambassador for the Global Fight Against Human Trafficking, I have seen firsthand the devastating impact of this crime. But I've also seen how the United Nations, non-governmental organizations, and the private sector can work together to raise awareness and collaborate on crucial prevention initiatives, such as the Blue Heart Campaign. It's not only about global awareness raising, but the Blue Heart Campaign also supports the United Nations Voluntary Trust Fund, which helps traffic persons, especially women and children. I commend IATA for working with UNODC to raise awareness and provide tools and guidance to help airlines to get involved in anti-trafficking initiatives. Your Eyes Open campaign has really helped to bring this issue to the top of the agenda. I would also like to draw your attention to the Be Aware of the Signs leaflet, which was designed by UNODC especially for the airline sector to provide information about possible signs of human trafficking, which would make it easier for airline personnel to detect such situations. And many congratulations to all of those individual airlines that are already working on this issue. We need many more of you to get involved and commit to raising awareness and training customer-facing staff. Trafficking is a global problem, so it needs a truly global response. No one is expecting the aviation industry to take over the role of law enforcement, but you and your staff can become additional boots on the ground to support them in the fight against this horrific crime. After all, as the case in Sacramento shows, the vigilance and professionalism of airline and aviation staff can save more people from becoming victims. In doing so, the aviation industry will truly uphold its role as the business of freedom. I wish you a successful and rewarding AGM, and thank you for your attention.